Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Rohit and today we'll talk about that what is ITSM and what are the applications fall under ITSM. So basically when you go for the interview, normally the people they ask that uh, what are the module you have worked and they mention that or you respond that I have worked on the incident, problem, uh, change, this kind of module. But basically ServiceNow um, application is, uh, there are a lot of hundred of application is there in ServiceNow. So we need to be categorized and based on the categories, we should explain that. So today we'll talk about that ITSM. So most of the people, um, they don't, uh, they, they know that what is the ITSM. And let's talk about that what is ITSM and what are the application fall under ITSM. So ITSM uh, is nothing but the IT service management. So service means that whatever, um, um, defect, uh, the, whatever development, whatever um, uh, enhancement we do, all are called the services. So for a particular company, whatever things we deliver as it, that's called a service. So in the ITSM, whatever we delivered um, and we manage, these all are called the IT service management. Now in IT service management, in the layman language that um, the incident management, problem management, change request management, like whatever is needed from the from a customer point of view, we deliver that. This is all called the ITSM. Okay. Now in the service now, uh, they have categorized or they have divided this ITSM license into three parts. So ITSM is a category. Under this category, we have uh, many other child application. Okay. So if you see here, we have three um, uh, main part. One is the standard, another is the professional and enterprise. So when you go for the service now, when you um, uh, ask for ITSM license to service now, service now asks that which kind of license you need. You need standard license, you need professional license or enterprise license. So in this standard license, these are the things came up. I mean, these are the things fall under standard application or standard license. These are the application fall under professional and these are the application fall under enterprise. So if you see the standard application, in the standard application, most of the application that we work, that is fall under like incident, problem, change, uh, request, knowledge, asset, reporting, employee center, now mobile, mobile agent, work of experience, service level, uh, management, uh, CMDB, survey and assessment, everything fall under. I mean, uh, these things fall under the standard license. So, um, if you know, so when you work for a particular uh, particular organization, you should ask that that what uh, license they have. So most of the cases, either they have standard or the professional. So very less customer have the enterprise. So when you go for the professional, under the professional, you will get all the standard um, standard related um, services. Along with that, you will get additional application called virtual agent, predictive intelligence, service owner, workspace, vendor management, DevOps, uh, dynamic translation, Slack integration, continuous improvement, performance analytics. So these are these all are fall under the professional. So if you go for the professional license, you will get the all the standard license along with the professional. And then last, we have the enterprise. Under this enterprise, you will get all this professional standard along with that. We'll get that some additional called workforce optimization, process optimization, digital portfolio. These are the application you will get that. So in a high level, ServiceNow uh, uh, categorize, ServiceNow have a ITSM, um, ITSM process. Under this ITSM process, there are many applications fall under that. And these are the application which is fall under ITSM. So I already attached a ServiceNow doc, I mean ServiceNow sales link. So if you click here, uh, so this will redirect you that ServiceNow sales page. And here it's defined that what is the service management. It's already defined that. You can go through this document and then if you see here this benefit capability integration resource package it's already defined that what is the benefit so you are getting um, uh, whenever you are going to choose that as a ITSM so it's deliver ITSM on a single platform so you will get all this ITSM in a single platform definitely service now is so initially started for that ITSM module so so all these ITSM related stuff you will get under this service now itself also so improve IT productivity. So you, we can improve our daily to daily IT productivity by this ITSM. So create recycling service experience. So there are, uh, I mean, these are uh, all are the benefits you will get that. Now, if you scroll down that, you will get that, uh, you know, capability, um, what the capability we have. And these are the uh, module name they have defined. So this, you can see this ITSM slash ITSM Pro, it means that this application is available for ITSM. This application is available for ITSM Pro. So basically all these 
um, application name they have defined here and under this uh, definitely you can integrate with this service now you can integrate as they are trying to mention the service now can be integrated with SAP, Adobe, Slack, I mean Jira, all Cisco, Okta, these are the platform we can integrate it. Along with that you can see if I go back here so they under this bottom they uh, you can see uh, they have clearly mentioned that what all application fall under ITSM, what all application fall under ITSM Pro and what all um, application fall under ITSM Enterprise level. So basically for ITSM we are getting 17 application, for ITSM Pro we are getting 24 and then for ITSM Enterprise we are getting 26. So 26 is nothing but 17 plus uh, the Delta 1. Okay, so basically uh, ITSM is 7. So if you talk about the ITSM Pro, so 17 plus, you know, um, 7 is the ITSM Pro. And then uh, if you talk about the ITSM uh, Enterprise, 17 plus 7 and then additional Delta 1, you will get bulk as per that um, the license. So each um, when you, uh, you know, that when, it, when your organization go for the go to the service now, uh, based on their requirement, their capability, uh, capacity, their service now uh, capacity and then what other application they are using based on that, these charges um, and what license you are going to use that ITSM or ITSM Pro based on that service now charges to that company. So I hope you get a clear understanding that what is the ITSM and what all application fall under ITSM. So next time when you go for interview, you can say that I have experience on the ITSM and under the ITSM, these are the module I have worked at. So, okay. So that's it for today. If you have any question, let me know in my comment section. Thank you very much. Have a great day.